to Venezuelans right now. And it would probably be very uncomfortable for us the way that she did with Vietnam in her time. While the images of what's happening in Venezuela travel the world, preserving the memory and work of Marisol has become a goal for the women at Teatro Vista. We know very little about Marisol Escobar. Why do you think that is? Because she's a woman. And she was a woman at a time where men were who were seen as the real artist. But times have changed. Marisol Escobar passed away in 2016 in New York City, leaving behind a trail of her work that may one day help define a culture and a generation. It takes us, her own people, essentially, to mine the story again and to really go into it looking for connection. In Chicago, I'm Lourdes Duarte. Beautiful story and happening over on October 4th and the 5th, the city of Los Fresnos will host their 31st annual Conjunto Festival. It will be held at the Los Fresnos Memorial Park. There will be bands, food, vendors, and so much more. The gate admission is $10, and if you'd like more information, you can call the Narciso Martinez Cultural Arts Center. Well, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us for NBC 23 News Today. I'm Jeremiah Marshall. I'm meteorologist Brenna Medina. And I'm your lifestyle host, Danielle Bonda, on this National Shamu the Whale Day. <gasps> I just went to SeaWorld last weekend. That's you right. did. How, you know, how did that go? How was Shamu? Your it was, uh, well, it was amazing. It, it, oh, was, it was, it was, it was, yeah. Well, none of them are named Shamu anymore. Shamu is we, gone, yeah, we know about Shamu, yeah, yeah. Yes, but they had one, well, oh. they had three, but, but one what? stuck. Really? What? Shamu's long gone, Danielle. Yeah, that was like, what, we were children. 90s? Yeah. yeah. I actually saw Shamu. Oh, the, the actual yeah, Shamu? Yeah, I I'm was. I'm jealous. Ooh, it's bringing my memories. Like, Dang. It, this was a time. Sorry, I interrupt your story. No, no, go. This go, was go. a time where like the trainers were like swimming with them oh, and like okay. jumping off and doing flips with them and stuff. Oh. And there'd be fireworks. Like, that back in that time, SeaWorld wow. was like, you know, the place to be. Yeah. But unfortunately, you know, because working with animals, circumstances, and, yeah, and so. things that had happened. And then, yeah. You know, Shamu, it's gone. So. It's gone. Yeah. But, but yeah, the show is so. really, really great. They have three orcas. Mm. They're not Shamus. They're called, they're actual orcas. A mm. lot of people th don't know that. Yeah. yeah. And the one that really stuck to me is, was Takara. She's the leader. She's 33 years old. She yeah. had been at SeaWorld for quite some time. I remember so. Takara. Yeah. So she's like still there, the main huh? attraction. Yeah, she's still there. Mm -hmm. And my niece and nephew loved it yeah. until they got wet. I uh. decided to seat us in the splash zone. Of course. Oh, so cool. Splash, splash. <laughs> the water was cold. Mm -hmm. It was cold. It was salty and it hurt yes. because all that force and oh, it was yeah. just their tail. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't their body. They didn't body slam. Yeah. It was yeah. just like yeah. a little, a little flick. Wow. And woof. Yeah. yeah. I remember Shamu. Shamu was huge. I was like, oh mm -hmm. my gosh. Now, like, Ladies and gentlemen, Shamu. And he'll fly up and send the trainer and she'll flip off. And That's amazing. That's yeah. so amazing. But see, yeah, those are good memories. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Takara, she's still there. Yeah, oh, Takara. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. And I got a little mini Takara stuffed animal. Aww. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. What a great day. Yeah, thank you for bringing that memory to me. Thank you. Yeah, okay, you're I feel kind of happy now. I'm not really mm -hmm. sure what, what's up with the Shamu story, but. Uh, I do have Shamu as a stuffed animal, I told you guys, and he's oh, splashed. Oh, that's right. I never watched him, and then once I watched him. Mm. Anyway, irrelevant. Sorry, my brain was just thinking. Happy Shamu the Whale Day. That's what yeah. it's called. Yeah, Shamu, Shamu the Whale Day. Yeah. Very yeah. good. He impacted some right, lives. This is true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah. when we were young. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everyone knows Shamu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Aw. Look at us, being Aww. from Texas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. That's so funny. So this morning, I saw a lot of lightning. Yes, yes, a lot of lightning, some wet roads mm -hmm. in some areas, but that's not the case anymore. We are drying out. All so right. still be careful, <laughs> still give yourself some extra time before heading out the door just because of those wet and slick roads. But most of the rain has already fizzled out and that's gonna be the the main story for the rest of the day will be mostly dry and you can see the last of the rain already starting to filter south and we had rain and storms literally overnight and that's just because of a front that's making its way into the Rio Grande Valley.